Good morning. Um, bioplastic. So um, I did prepare a presentation um, with PowerPoint slides on uh, bioplastic. And you might expect that they, were, they included some um, awful pictures, sad pictures on plastic, regular plastic, influencing uh, our environment and uh, endangering wildlife. However, I did, 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 I'm not going to use it because I decided um, this is not the reason why I am uh, so uh, eager to do this project. Uh, the real reason is, is that um, uh, th I believe this project will actually influence uh, our world and our society. Why, why is this? Bioplastics, we see it every day. Uh, we, we, it is everywhere, but we don't use it. Um, now let me ask you one question. How much plastic uh, did you use since this morning um, when you woke up all the way up to uh, when you were here? Um, you used it probably in your toothbrush, you used it, uh, the next thing you used it was um, uh, on your bike, your, your steering wheel. Uh, the point here is plastic is everywhere. It is a gigantic business. Uh, per year we produce 300 billion uh, uh, kilos of plastic. 300 billion kilos, that's immense. Um, and uh, there's a lot of problems with this. One of the problems uh, with this is that it's obviously not biodegradable. Um, because we use all this plastic, but where does it come from? First of all, it comes from oil and gas. 99% of the plastic that we, that we use and, and produce comes from oil and gas. Um, where does it all go once we use it? Now, first of all, it goes into, most of it goes into landfills. Second of it, uh, it goes into uh, the ocean. And a third, uh, it's often being burned also. Um, obviously, if it's being put into landfills, it will take hundreds of years before it completely decomposes. Um, if it ends up in the ocean, it has detrimental effects to the environment and to marine wildlife. Thirdly, if we burn it, it's incredibly toxic. Now, at the University of Amsterdam, in our chemistry research group, by accident, uh, we uh, discovered a bioplastic. Uh, this bioplastic solves the main issues with conventional plastics. It is completely biodegradable. Uh, it falls apart in natural elements. It is uh, completely non-toxic. Even if we burn it, it falls apart into ele uh, non-toxic elements. Uh, it's so non-toxic, actually, that you can even eat it. And third of all, um, it's, uh, uh, it's non-toxic. And third of all, it's made of, ma made of renewable resources. Um, so it's not made of oil. It's made of resources that are abundantly available worldwide. Um, that being said, we're not the only bioplastic. We heard this before, there are multiple bioplastic being developed at different universities. Yet, of this 300 billion uh, kilo uh, plastic industry, only 1% or less than 1% even is bioplastic. And that is exactly uh, a big problem. But why is it only less than 1%? Is because the exact same reason when you and me, uh, we're in, if we're in the Albert Heijn, we don't buy every product eco-friendly or uh, bio-based or uh, uh, you name it, organic. It's because it's three, four times more expensive than regular plastic. And the industry doesn't make this change all of a sudden. This bioplastic that has been developed by accident at our university is co price comparative with, uh, competitive with the regular plastics. Uh, and that's one of the main reasons that I believe that this plastic actually has the potential to, to bra break through that 1% and have a big impact on our world and change our future. Because in all honesty, I'm not, I've never been much of a, uh, much of a yeah, tree hugger or eco-friendly activist. Uh, uh, I study chemistry and not environmental chemistry. I study business and not um, social or environmental development. Um, yet this, this plastic um, may is the reason that I'm uh, spending all of my time uh, I'm trying to promote it and trying to develop it. And this is all talk, and this is, this is nice to talk about this, but um, to put this into words and put these words into action, I would like to show you our plastic uh, to conclude my presentation, just so you can see, feel, and hold it. It's not just talk, it's actually being done, and we're producing it. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> 